Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, January 5th. It's the Thursday before the Epiphany. It's the memorial of St. John Newman, who was a bishop, and I'll get to him. A couple quick uh, announcements. We have a new YouTube channel for St. Isaac Jokes Parish, where we'll be recording daily masses, live streaming, other events here at the parish. So you can just go to YouTube and Google St. Isaac Jogues Church in Hinsdale, and it should come up. Uh, and my YouTube channel, uh, Father Burke Masters, is still out there for uh, these daily videos and also for Be Formed. So a little bit about St. John Newman. Uh, so he came to this country in 1836, uh, and he was from Bohemia, came to western uh, New York State, he joined the Redemptorist in Pittsburgh, and then eventually became Bishop of Philadelphia in 1852. Uh, he, he formed the parochial school system. So yesterday we had St. Elizabeth Ann Seton who started uh, Catholic schools in the Uni United States, and he developed this diocesan school system. He gave himself tire in, uh, tirelessly to the church they say in his time as bishop, on average, he opened one parish a month. Now you can imagine the work that that took. And at the age of 48, walking across the street, he collapsed and died. Uh, they said he gave himself wholeheartedly to the Lord and the church. And so this is something that we would call white martyrdom. You know, he didn't die a martyr's death uh, giving his blood, but he gave himself entirely and, and, and died serving God and the church. Uh, what a great example for us. But I'd like to look at these readings today and talk about love. What distinguishes Christians, hopefully, from other people? It should be one of the things that distinguishes us should be love. Jesus says, if you look at that crucifix behind me, there's no greater love than to lay down your life for a friend. And Jesus goes on to say, don't just love the people who, who love you, but love your enemies. Yikes. <laughs> Any of us, uh, is that easy to do, to love our enemies? But he says it's easy to love those who love us. Where the virtue comes in is to love even when it doesn't feel easy. I've talked to a lot of people recently whose marriages are, are struggling. And it's hard to love when those feelings are gone. And, and we hear that the, the phrase, I've fallen out of love, meaning the feelings are gone. But the day you made your vows before the Lord, you're willing and vowing to love one another, good times and in bad, sickness and in health, till death do us part. Now, I'm not saying this is easy. Um, being a priest isn't easy either. And sometimes it's not easy to love certain people. But the Lord is asking us to lay down our lives for others, to make a conscious decision, an act of the will, to sacrifice my desires, my wants, for the other. He says, the way we come to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. Goes on to say, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and truth. So if we say we're Christians, if we say we're followers of Christ, He's saying it's one thing to say it, it's another thing to put it into practice. I'm preaching to myself. I'm sure uh, the Lord's words echo in all of our hearts. We hear then in the, in the gospel from John chapter one, uh, you know, yesterday we heard about Andrew going to get his brother, uh, Simon Peter, saying we found the Messiah. Today, Philip um, found Nathaniel and told him in, in other gospels, he's known as Bartholomew, we have found the one about whom Moses wrote. And of course, there's this interesting dialogue, can anything good come from Nazareth? And Jesus knows Nathaniel. He says, there's a man with no duplicity in him. Even though he might not have ever met him, he knows him and he knows us. And he says these same words to Philip, to Nathaniel, Simon and Andrew, to me and to you, follow me, follow me. I want you to become like me. If, if you're watching The Chosen, I uh, highly recommend it if you're not. You know, Jesus says, I want you to become like me. That's what a rabbi does. We don't just learn 
knowledge, but we try to become like the one that calls us. And Jesus calls us to lay down our lives for others in love, just as St. John Newman did for the church. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the gift of our lives, the gift of your love. We thank you for the great saints like St. John Newman. Help us to love when the feelings aren't there. Help us to love sacrificially as Jesus showed us on the cross. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your family, Buen Camino and St. John Newman, pray for us.